Hello and welcome back to the shed. In today's episode we're going to be making some custom toggle holders that go into the saw handle for holding a saw in the lid of a toolbox or on the wall. Hope you enjoy. So what I've done here is just outlined it here. I'm going to come around with the saw and just chop out as much of this as I can. So now we've got it to this stage, I'm going to come in and try and clean some of it up with a chisel if I can. If not, the files or heavy rasps are going to be easiest for removing this material. So I have quite an aggressive rasp here and a finer sort of rasp file here. So I'm going to start with the most aggressive, get the majority of the material off, come back in with this and then maybe use a bit of sandpaper to smooth it off afterwards. Just moving around in the flat following that curve. And then you can come in with a file. And you see we're down on our line here, so we just keep working our way around like that until we're done. Now with these circles, you're not going to be able to see the line now, but it's easier to work from the top edge around the curve. So I've got it roughly to the shape we want. Now this is where we see if it fits inside the saw. When we look here and we see it doesn't quite fit. So we need to take a little bit more out of the middle here and just a little bit more off the top. So it's just a trial and error process until you get it to fit from here on out. And now we just want to chamfer all these edges a little bit and I'm just going to use the sandpaper to do that. So now this fits because it's been sanded back, it fits nice and easy. Normally you'd make these holders the same thickness as your handle. This is the best material I had and it's a little bit thinner than the handle. So when I come to put the toggle tag in, I'll just need to space it out that little bit so it fits and holds on the outside of the handle to stop it falling out. So to do the little toggle tag on the top, I've come along here, gone, that's roughly how long I want. I put a little nick there, then I've brought my square in and squared it across. I'm just going to back cut this the depth up to this so it'll hold it. So what we can do is bring your piece of wood in there and you can actually find your depth there so you know how far up you need to come. But I'm just going to eyeball it, it's like two or three mil. Those lines that I drew just here, I'm going to run them across with the square. So I'm going to go ahead and saw those lines now. Now I see that I'm a little bit off square here, but in this case it doesn't really matter. If you've got timber that's quite straight grained, which this is not because it's Jarrah, we could actually just um, chisel it back. But in this case, I'm just going to put it in the vise and I'm going to saw back to it. I'm just going to give me a rough line here to go to. So now we've got this done, we want to bring it in and test it. So you want it to sit flat and have a little bit of movement here just so it's not too tight so you've got room to turn it. So the saw can come off we need to have it clear of these areas so we need to put a little round here so it clears here. We need to round 
that corner off, that corner off, this corner off, and this corner off. So it's just a, a process of trial and error until you get it just the way you like it. You can come ahead and saw these off and then come in and file it, or you can just file the whole lot. It's up to you. It's your holder, so you can customize it the way you like. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to file this out, and then I'll get back to you and uh, we'll, uh, I'll show you how to attach, how we're going to attach this. So I've now got this toggle complete here. I've just shaped it slightly and curved the edges. I know it's not fancy, but the saw can come on and off it, and that's what I'm looking for. Turn around and it'll hold it in and stop it from falling out. So what I've done here is I've come in, drilled a hole in this block here, drilled a larger hole in the top block here for the screw to push through so the screw doesn't catch this top part as much because we want this to be able to turn. And I'm just going to countersink this top part so the top of the screw sits flush. A bit of wax to our screw to help it screw in. Screw it right in. Turn it, and we can see that we've got just enough on the back here to attach that to whatever. And then we can rotate here to hold it in place. Whether that's vertical, toggling it on the wall, toggling it on the lid of a toolbox. So, there you have it folks. That's how you make a custom saw holder with a little toggle to make sure that it does not fall off or fall out of a lid or something like that that you've used to hold it. Now, this would be um, doubled along with a, a little uh, saw holder like that on the other end of the tooth, so like a little uh, square slot or something that it sits in if it was sitting on a lid. If it was just upright on the wall, well, this would be enough for it to hang off and hold there and not fall off. So I just want to thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video please consider liking and subscribing and commenting below and looking at the comments for my Facebook and Instagram links. Bye for now.